Hi guys, good morning. Welcome back to another day in London. It feels weird to be back here without the keys to the apartment that we were staying in, knowing damn well that I can't go back there at the end of today. I'm coming up to London today to meet with Tom Curran. He's an England cricketer. I'm going to be filming a photography video with him today. Obviously, this summer, the World Cup, the Cricket World Cup, is being held in England. So a very, very exciting summer ahead of cricket. But Tom's got an interest in photography and we're going to go to the Barbican today, shoot a little video, find out a little bit about his interests outside of cricket and then I'm going to be heading to the airport later today. So it's a little bit of a busy one, got all my bags with me. It feels weird to be back in London, but it feels good to actually be able to wear multiple layers of clothing for once. Yeah, maybe a bit closer. This is so funny, I'm, we're doing a video about photography and making things look nice and I've picked like <laughs> the worst corner. <laughs> so those of you that don't know, this is Tom, Tom Curran. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Thank you, it's good to be here. Tom is a professional cricketer. I'm not a professional cricketer. I used to play cricket, I used to play for Newbury and it lasted about two months and then I realised that I was the worst player on the team. However, this summer is a busy one. Looking forward it to is, it? yeah. Big summer, World Cup, Ashes, lots of cricket. Uh, yeah, it should be, a, should be a memorable one, hopefully. Well, we've come to the Barbican. We're doing a little photography video because outside of Tom's profession, he's a keen photographer. I'm gonna get my angles here. So Tom, as a professional sportsman, how do you find time to exercise your hobbies? To be honest, you actually get quite a lot of time, mate. You know, you're touring, um, you're training, but if you've got a sort of month, two months tour, there's always downtime. So it's, yeah. I think it's important to have things away from cricket. And um, yeah, this, this does the trick. The cricket side of things, obviously Australia, I've enjoyed the West Indies, the Caribbean we did last year. Uh, Sri Lanka, obviously a beautiful country. Some good places, not as beautiful and picturesque as the places I see you <laughs> too, but... As per usual, classic George Benson style. The first thing that Tom and I did when we met each other this morning, grab a coffee. You know, it's just, the, it's just what you do. Lovely. Tom, give us your favourite. Just let us know. <laughs> Just can't entertain. Go, can't go wrong with a flat white, can you? You cannot go wrong with a flat white as he sips his Americano. It's weird. I've not worn a jumper in I don't know how long. Right, so we are here. And we want to go across Gilbert Bridge to get to there. How do we get across to the other side of the water? Uh, I don't know. I also don't work here. Only oh, sorry. I don't know. Guys, if you've ever been to the Barbican before, I'm sure you can agree with me. <laughs> this place... Absolute maze. It's a maze. It's also that kind of time of day outside where the sun isn't really in our favor. It's the middle of the day right now. Oh no. So some of you may know this, some of you may not know this, but Tom is actually a Chelsea fan, which is fantastic. Because <laughs> when we got partnered up together to make this video, I've never met Tom before. I knew he was a cricketer. Didn't know too much more about him. We've never bumped into each other in a pub. So he's a Chelsea fan. What are you seeing? I get a few reflections here, you hey. know, photographer lifestyle. Yeah, <laughs> what he doesn't tell you. So obviously as a professional cricketer, you're fortunate enough as well to be able to travel the world. Where would you say is the most eye-opening place culturally that you've ever been to? Do you know what? In terms of cricket and travelling, it's actually, you can't look past India when it comes to that. You know, it's the love for cricket they have, the, uh, just the all-round, the vibe in India and the people, the passion they have for the sport. And it's, it really was eye-opening. I spent a couple of months there playing the IPL um, and had a few days where I went out and explored. I, I was based in Kolkata. Um, which has a you know huge history in Calcutta. We went to the flower market. I just went and you know took pictures and saw saw the the city, the people of India in a way that I hadn't seen just from TV and playing there. So it's, yeah, um, yeah, it's a, it is an incredible place with so much culture and a very good good place to be. When you're when you're traveling and when you're playing what is it you're looking for in, in an image are you looking to just take a nice photo or would you like to tell a story when you're taking your photos i mean a bit of both really we do get to see some really cool places so i think there is always an element of a story in photos whether you're trying to look for one or not so yeah yeah this is nice i like these reflections yeah. i think there was i think there's one that you took though when you managed to get this bit in here as well yeah, did you not think yeah this one you're creeping in there all right should we see if we've got any good ones of you that's cool. Yeah, I like that. 
gazing into the distance. Absolutely, definitely didn't ask you to do that. If I took this again, I would try and get rid of this stone bit here. Kind of want it to look like my feet are hanging off the edge. Yeah, nice. All right, so looking through these, I think we've got some successful images from a nice rainy day in London today. I think so. We've got, we've got some good ones there, mate. Yep, looking forward to catching up with you over the summer. Yes, good luck. Thank you, mate. Cheers. Big summer of cricket ahead. Exactly. Do us proud. Thank you. Safe travels. We'll see you soon. Okay, I literally just fell asleep having a coffee waiting for my flight. I got to the airport super early, finished shooting with Tom about two o'clock this afternoon, headed straight to Victoria, got on the train, ended up here at the airport and fell asleep with all of my gear just led out in front of me, which is kind of the worst thing you can do at an airport because people look at bags that are lost and think, ah, is he in charge of that bag? And I was like, yeah, I was in charge of that bag. But anyway, today's been super fun. Thank you very much to Tom for meeting up with me. It was good again, always to, when you're speaking to a professional sportsman, to kind of bridge that gap between what we watch on the television and the fact that these people are actually human beings who, despite having professional lives to live within sport, they all have hobbies and things that they enjoy doing the same way that obviously I'm working in the field of taking pictures, videos, travel, storytelling and all of that stuff. But to meet Tom and obviously see that despite the fact he does have a professional cricket career going for him. He's also got a really strong passion for photography as well. And I think he got some pretty good photos of me today as well, which I'm very, very happy with, as without a phone for three weeks, Instagram content has been suffering. I'm super jet lagged and it feels weird with this kind of jet lag to be jumping back on a flight, but it's only about two hours long to Stockholm. So that's pretty easy, pretty straightforward. And it's only an hour ahead. Tilda's gonna be meeting me at the airport the other end. But once again, big thank you to the ECB for making this video possible today. Big thanks to Tom as well for being a good sport. Good legend, despite the weather, we had a good time. See you guys in Sweden. September. She burns through the night like an ember And all those things we try forgetting I remember But we say we all fine, we all fine